Hello everybody and welcome to the Tartar Zone, the fallout from Ollie Alexander's rumoured casting has hit an all-time low as the actor has revealed he will be leaving social media for a while due to all of the attention uh, that has uh, proceeded to the uh, rumoured announcement by the Sun newspaper. Um, his agent uh, playfully um, dismissed uh, the rumor. Uh, again, Ali himself has not outright dismissed the rumor. His agent has. Um, but it looks like uh, some of the abuse uh, that he received um, has forced the actor to take a little break from social media so i'll read the article it's by the mirror i will leave it in the link description as usual and you can go and check it out uh, yourself so the headline reads ollie alexander announces break from social media advent doctor who rumors the years and years singer and star of channel fours it's a sin has been rumored to replace jody whittaker as the next Doctor Who. Um, Ollie Alexander has announced he's taken a break from social media uh, amid rumors he has been cast as the new Doctor. The years and years singer, uh, age 30, has been hotly tipped to replace Jodie Whittaker as the next Time Lord when she steps down. Speculation that Ollie was trashing out the contract with the BBC over a part in the long-running BBC sci-fi show received a mixed response from fans. It most certainly did. Uh, I will add my piece uh, after every uh, paragraph. Um, it most certainly did. Uh, the most surprising thing for me was the reaction to so-called fans that are all for diversity and inclusion. Um, I was seeing posts like, um, I would rather have Vicky McClure uh, because it would upset and not my doctor, or basically someone who doesn't like the current era of the show. That's how petty they are. Now, you think Ollie Alexander would be everything uh that these so-called fans of this era uh would like but it looks like it's not the case they would rather have a woman because it upsets uh what they call not my doctors which is absolutely uh ridiculous and it's petty to be quite honest a day after the story was reported in the sun on sunday Actor and pop star Ollie has taken to Twitter to reveal his plans to step away from social media for the foreseeable future. Choosing not to directly address the Doctor Who rumours, Ollie spoke only to explain his upcoming absence to fans. Now, you can read, you can read a lot into that. It could be just simply, as he said, he's just taking a break. Uh, the fact that he hasn't outright himself outright dismissed the the rumors his agent has but he had a chance himself to outright deny these rumors on twitter and he's refused to do so now all of a sudden he's taking a break from social media listen you know you can read that uh, two ways as i said he probably is genuinely taking a break and he's going to concentrate on his music or there is something in this rumor We'll continue. It says, he goes, uh, hey, BBs, uh, 
you might notice I'm a bit quiet these next couple of weeks. I'm just taking a little break, uh, Ro Ali. I love you all a lot, and I'll see you soon, he added. Fans immediately shared their support to Ali. Yes, some of the hypocrites. Now, I'm not saying that um, some fans that don't like this era uh, probably did react badly to this. Um, it's inexcusable if there was any uh, sort of uh, uh, bigotry towards Ali or any homophobia towards Ali. That is absolutely unacceptable. Um, Ali is an actor. He gets paid to do a job. And if BBC had indeed uh, chosen Ali to, to play the next Doctor, well then, you know, that is the choice they've made. And he's got a very good CV. Um, my problem is, is people keep saying, why, do, why does everybody keep bringing his sexuality into it? Well, the media brought his sexuality into it. Instead of saying a young, talented actor uh, gets a role of a lifetime to play Doctor Who, they basically said gay actor uh, Ollie Alexander to play First Time Lord or whatever the stupid headline was. They made it about the sexuality. Nobody else did. So uh, some fans, uh, obviously, with um, the abuse apparently he got, he says, hey, Ali, you are amazing and so well loved. Really enjoying watching you on Gogglebox at the moment. If the rumors are true, massive congratulations to you. I think you will own it. Hope you are okay, said another. Uh, looks like it's been non-stop for you for some time. Enjoy a well-deserved break, urged the third. Over the weekend, it was reported that Ollie was working out the small print to become the 14th Doctor Who and replace Jodie Whittaker. I'm watching them on Gogglebox, uh, Celebrity Gogglebox, and as I said, I have absolutely no problem uh, with Ali. Uh, he comes across as a quite nice uh, character. Um, you know, my problem would be him taking the role is that Chris Chibnall is still there. And it doesn't matter who you bring in. If you have Chris Chibnall driving the bus, I'm sorry it's not, or, or flying the TARDIS, as they say, then I'm sorry he's going to crash it every time because his writing is so diabolical. Um, Jody's departure from the show has not yet been announced, although it has been speculated the next series and two specials will be her final episodes. The BBC said it's had no official comment on the rumours. An insider at the corporation said, as ever, bosses are staying tight-lipped about what they have planned. But with filming still going on, they clearly have plans for episodes to be playing out much later into 2022. So there's lots more to come from Jodie's Doctor. A representative for Ollie gave a very playful response when asked to confirm the speculation. Now, his agent said this, and again, you know, while it is a denial, it's a very playful denial. Um, I'm not saying Ollie is going to be the next Doctor, but uh, they're either capitalising on this uh, bit of exposure or there's definitely something in on it, uh, definitely something in it. Uh, but uh, as far as we know, um, there is nothing in it. Uh, because his agent has come out and said this, even though Ollie is often contacted by Cybermen, I'm afraid I have to exterminate this speculation. As nice as it is to see interest in this story regenerate, it just isn't true. As odd as it might sound, Ollie is focusing on his music for the time being. As well as being linked to Doctor Who, Ollie is also filming for weekly episodes of Goggle Box alongside M M N E K. In January this year, Ollie won huge praise for starring in Channel 4's It's a Sin, 
which told the story of the 1980s AIDS uh, pandemic. Then in March, Ollie's band Years and Years announced they were going their separate ways, which uh, the frontman continued to use the name for his solo material. He followed this up with the release of It's a Sin, a cover of Pet Shop Boys classic, a collaboration with Elton John following uh, their performance at the 2021 Brits. Now again, I will say if if anybody has been engaging in any disgusting behaviour towards Ollie, uh, you really need to check yourself. Uh, it's absolutely disgusting. Um, actors and actresses, uh, it doesn't matter what their sexual preferences is or their political ideology is. Uh, if they're linked to a show, it doesn't give anybody the right to go and abuse that person in any way, shape or form. So uh, I would urge Doctor Who fans out there that have engaged uh, in that decease what you're doing. It's absolutely disgusting and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Um, you know, no actor should feel or actress should feel like they have to go off social media. But look, at, we've seen this in the past with uh, Peter Davison. We've seen it with uh, other actresses and actors that are connected to Doctor Who. They don't want to get involved in any of the drama and they make that clear because they know what will happen. Uh, there's a lot of bullying going on in this fandom and it's absolutely disgusting and it has to stop. As for Ollie Alexander, what do I think? Uh, uh, what do I think of the rumor? Well, I've made it clear under Chibnall, it doesn't matter who you get. So I don't think it'll work with Ollie Alexander. Um, right now, uh, I would I would get someone else in uh, along with Chris Ch uh, Chibnall gone, um, and maybe uh, maybe in five five years time. Why not give Ali a stab at the job? Um, you know, his performances that we've seen uh, on, on the screen have been absolutely amazing. So, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. But look, uh, again, uh, the, the sad fact and the sad reality of the situation is, is that Ali uh, feels like he has to come up, uh, off social media because of all of the exposure and uh, because, uh, you know, um, the reaction uh, was 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 mixed, as, as the paper said. Uh, here's another one for you, though, and I just want to throw this out here before I go. Um, what do you think, what do you think, BBC, what have I said, right? And I'm just, it's, I'm just terrorizing here. What if BBC actually put out feelers? They actually mentioned Ali to see what kind of reaction they would get. Uh, don't be surprised if you hear other actors or actresses' names getting linked now to the shop. I wouldn't be surprised if BBC are putting out feelers. Uh, to see how fans would react. Um, bottom line is this. Uh, Chris Chibnall needs to go whoever they get. Um, and then we'll see where we can, where, where we can go from there. Uh, to, to be honest with you. Um, because it's absolutely uh, ridiculous. Uh, I just want to read out actually... Um, a super chat, a ten a ten dollar super chat that I got off Alpha Omega, and it was in relation to Ali Alexander. And and he posed the question, and it's a very good question, and I'll leave this question with you guys as well. He says, Well, if true, is he really Doctor Who? Is he really Doctor Material? So that was a ten pound ten dollar super chat from Alpha Omega. He says, Well, if true. Is he really Dr. Material? That's in, in regards to Oli Alexander. And I think that's a fair question to ask. So if anybody would like to give their thoughts, please be respectful in the comments. There's been too much negativity around it. 
uh, to be quite honest with you. And we're better than than the, the people out there that are criticizing Oli. So when you're leaving a comment, please be respectful. Let me know. Do you think he is Dr. Material? He, even though his agent has dismissed that, we know that now, right? But I, the fact that he hasn't outright dismissed it himself is a bit weird. And now he's taking time off social media to, quote, uh, concentrate on his music. Seems a little rather suspicious to me. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that he is uh, going to be the next doctor. I just find it a little bit suspicious. But, you know, as someone pointed out to me, you know, it's 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 a little bit of promotion and a little bit of PR for Ollie right now. Um, you know, so, um, you know what they say? There's no such thing as a, a, as a bad media. So, uh but I will say again, whoever's been engaging in any of that horrible behavior towards Ali ought to be ashamed of themselves. But yeah, let me know if you think he's Dr. Material. Uh, do you think now that his agent has come out playfully to dismiss the rumor, do you think he isn't going to be the doctor? And what do you think of the fact that he hasn't outright uh, denied it himself and he's had the opportunity when he was saying goodbye to everybody he could have said, uh, uh, nice to be linked to the show, but it, it, uh, it's not happening. Uh, I'm not the next doctor. And then I'll, I'll see you later. I'm working on my music or something like that. You know, I just find it all a little bit too uh, suspicious. But uh, let me know what you guys uh, think. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, Leave a comment, be respectful, and uh, as I said, if you see any of that behavior out there towards Ali, you see any posts, you know, uh, best thing to do is report, report that, uh, those people. It's absolutely vile and disgusting. And uh, I wish Ali the best on whatever he's doing. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see what he has up his sleeve. Uh, we'll see what the story is uh, with those rumors. But the fact that he hasn't, you look, I wouldn't rule it out 100%. The fact that he hasn't outright dismissed it himself, there could be a chance that our BBC could be putting out feelers. Let me know. A lot, lot to take in. Let me know what you think. And uh, I will talk to you all very, very soon. <laughs>